It's too beautiful, this World 3 is. So beautiful that all these shooting stars are here. Who would have thought that shooting stars would be beautiful, man? They're stars. <laughs> we start in. <laughs> all right. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 36 of Super Mario Galaxy 2. So, we're going to go with the only galaxy to have, you know, all the green stars in the same mission that have, you know, all three green stars. So, we're just going to go ahead and just get right into it. It's Cloudy Court Galaxy. All right, green star number one. Number one! Oh, I hear one. Uh, well, I hear one. <laughs> I don't see one, but I hear one. All right, so I do know where one of them is. Out of, you know, both out of all three green stars, I only know where one of them is, so... Yeah, oh wait. Is one up here? Yeah, one's up here. I'm a lucky snowflake, everyone. <laughs> I am a freaking lucky snowflake to actually get, you know, the green star on my first try. First try, man. First try. Bro. Dude. Dude, bro. And that one coin was just enough for to, to get me 1600 which means I got even more. Well, one life, but really, who cares? That's all I got. It's just one life. Out of, like, 23. Okay, I have to readjust myself right there. All right, green star number one again, except this time we're looking for green star number two. You know, just to jump right into the galaxy, not necessarily, uh, you know, see the preview again and just do that. Because since these are all the same mission, the preview is all going to be the same anyway. So, pretty obviously, pretty obviously, all these are going to have the same preview, which means... Either you'll see Green Star 1, or Green Star 2, or Green Star whatever. So, that's basically the whole deal as to how many previews there are. So there. There you go. I should be getting started. Ooh, there's one. Uh, well, I do need the cloud, though. I need the cloud. Alright, get that one. And, ooh. Yes! There it is! There you go! There you go, sir! We got a thing! Yeah! Luigi's thing is through the cloud! That should be the thumbnail. <laughs> I mean... These thumbnails are just gonna be, you know, literally the same thing, having to do with the green all the time, you know? It could be Luigi doing in a different pose, or maybe it could be the green star in the star selection upside down. Or maybe possibly a green star in the in the in, in the thing. Like, possibly the green star in or the green comet, whatever. <laughs> Just whatever. Like, seriously, dude. Seriously. Alright. So green star won again and blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. I think I'll just kind of head to the part, to the planet that has the green star, and then we'll start off from there, so. BR Beezles. Boom, baby! Bam! Alright, so we're starting off on this planet right here, because according to, you know, my memory, plus the fact that I watched another Let's Player do this, the green star in question that we're going after should be at the very end of this planet. Of this portion. You know, the ending portion. And where you would have to, well, go up this very long vertical, you know, thing in order to get up to where, you know, you would find the power star. But since this is a green star, obviously it would make a different sound. Just beyond that windmill is the green star. And there it is. Right there, right there, is our star. Alrighty, alrighty. Next stop, next stop, next stop. We're gonna go next stop, let's go. 
Let's go. <laughs> We're just gonna do the let's go. <laughs> also, I am gonna make a. I'm gonna make more of an effort to get, you know, more star bits because again, you need those. And blah 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 blah. All that very nice jazz. Okay, so we're gonna go to Haunty Halls. Because Green Stars 1 and 2 are in the same mission. Meanwhile. Oh, God. Burps. Meanwhile, Green Star 3 is in a different mission. So let's see. Oh, there's one. And no green star in that bulb section, I'm assuming. At least at the beginning of that. Well, we know where one is anyway, so... Yeah, it's good. So, oh. <laughs> well, hello, green star. Hiding, hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm dead, thank you very much. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, this is a this is off to a fine start. Off to a fine start indeed for Haunty Halls. Then again, it is the Galaxy of the Dead. So, obviously I would die a lot. Oh, come on. Come on, please. Okay, if I don't do it this time, <laughs> I swear I'm good at this game. I'm good at this game, guys. Uh, let me actually get star bits while I'm at it. I mean, if I'm gonna be dying, I might as well. Oh, come on! That's that's the thing I did the first time! You saw how many times I died. You saw how many times I died just trying to get that green star right. You saw that. Oh, my God! <laughs> Why did that take so long? Why did it have to take two minutes? Jesus. Yes, I know I'm dying. I'm dying, Lava. Shut up. Yeah, this does actually give me a good time to actually explain this little feature because I didn't really touch upon this. So, certain Nintendo games came with a thing called a super guide. That basically means if you died a lot at a level you think is really, really tough, then super then you have the option to activate, you know, that game's super guide. In, su in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, it was, you know, basically, you know, the computer clearing the level, right? Well, in this game's case, it would actually be, you know, the Cosmic Guide. Basically, what the Cosmic Guide entails is that, well... You basically die a lot, right? You die a lot, and basically, if you want to, then you can summon up a Cosmic Mario to basically complete the level for you. However, but Cosmic, blah, 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 since, since Cosmic Mario cleared the level and not you, it would result in Cosmic Mario obtaining a Bronze Star. Not a Power Star, but a Bronze Star. Bronze stars do not count. If you want to get the power star for yourself, then you would have to complete the level by yourself. No questions asked, just complete the level. Basically, complete the level by yourself. However, it really does help out, in a sense, I suppose. It does help out in the sense that, well, you get, you know, a feel for how the level is like. Before you actually attempt it yourself. So, that's good, I suppose. But, then again, not many people are fond of this because... Oh my god, it's an optional thing, plus the game holds your hand. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, like, I can't... Okay. Okay, so... Apparently with games or collections nowadays... Getting a feature... Or updated versions of the game getting a feature that basically allows you to just basically beast the game like you know the ports of Final Fantasy 7 8 and 9 I guess at least on the PS4 or at least the modern versions of uh, Final Fantasy's 
four, five, and four. No, not four, five. Uh, seven, eight, and nine. They basically have boosters that basically allow you to basically beast the entire game. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I guess for platformers, I, well, in terms of, well, Mega Man Legacy Collection coming out in May, Mega Man 1 has a rewind feature, which I ain't complaining about because the Yellow Devil is hard. <laughs> I'm not complaining about that at all because the Yellow Devil is hard. Like, seriously. Play the original Mega Man. It's, it's a hard game. It's a hard, hard game. Plus with the fact that apparently the SNES Classic can rewind things, I guess. I guess that's also a bad. <laughs> because apparently a lot optional features that make the game a little bit easier on yourself, if you want to use them, are bad and should be a bad. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, like, trying to, to complain about things that are actually legitimate, but whatever. It's a thing that's been on my mind, and I wanted to, like, voice my opinions about, you know, uh, what people are saying about games holding your hand, you know? You know, again, how the SNES Classic has a rewind feature, apparently, and stuff. So, yeah, it's a thing. Uh, it's a thing that exists. And I'm not using it if I ever get one. So, uh, yeah. What's up with all the burping? I'm not Tim. Green Star 1. Now, I think I know, uh, I know where 1 and 2 are. Uh, well, okay, I think I hear number 2. Oh, yeah, I see number 1 up there. Yeah, so 1 is up there. The other one is on the next planet. So, yeah. That's basically the thing of Tall Trunk. And I'm actually kind of worried about Green Star 3. <laughs> I'm actually kind of worried about uh, how to get the one that's uh, Green Star number 3. Because I think it has to involve the slide. And I'm not really too excited about that. Not at all. Not one bit. Not one bit. Okay. So, I'm going to get the bulb fruit right there. There we go. And I believe the green star should be up here. Oh, it's up there. Where the life stream is. Good. Because I need, I need green stars to save my life, man. Green stars are the saviors of all mankind. Apparently, that's what it all is. And because I'm a completionist, I have to do this. I have to do this, man. Again, you're talking to a man who has 100%ed Mario Odyssey. I am going to do this. We are going to do this. And believe me, it's going to be a long haul. You're in, for it. you're in for it, kids. This is what you signed up for. This is what Mario Galaxy 2 is all about. This is what Mario Galaxy 2 is leading up to. The hunt for these green stars, man. They make you crazy. They make you insane, dude. It's a line in the sand that should not be crossed. Line in the sand. Freaking... That freaking Big Lebowski thing. Oh, my God. The freaking Big Lebowski. Okay, so... I believe with this next green star, it's on the planet that, you know, is a wooden cylinder, which is, I believe, the next planet. So, let's go ahead and go over there. And I think I actually know where it is, based on memory. I think I know where it is. So, uh, let's see. Let me actually go around the planet here. Well, obviously it led me to that one-up, so that's good. That's good. Oh, it's right there. Alright, cool. Cool. It led me. It led me to a place where I wanted to go anyway. Neat. Now the question is, how do? How do? Well, actually, this is how do. Actually, let the air go on that one, and then get this. Okay, here we go. Nice. 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 Again, you gotta go for the nice, you know? You gotta go for the nice. 
<laughs> nice! Okay, so here's what worries me. Green Star 3. I think it has something to do with the slide. If that's the case, then I'm in deep trouble. Because the slide is apparently hard. Yep, this is what it... This is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. Okay. Alrighty. Green Star 3. What are we doing? <laughs> no, I can't see it. Crap. Well. Looks like I'm on my own with this one. Oh, boy. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Okay. So, I believe with the slide, I think you have to do it have to get the green star in a certain way. Yeah, that's the other thing that worries me. And probably the other reason why I grinded up on so many lives. And you probably should too, to be honest. Because, well, if you're going to be dying a lot, you might as well die to the latest green stars while you're at it. Okay, well, at the very least, at the very least, you can get yourself some star bits if you're dying. Now, I'm not really sure exactly where the green star is. Or how to get it the certain way. But I think I can, you know, figure it out as I go along. Because that's really the only way I know how to do things. Is just play it by ear. That's how I've been doing all these green stars. And that's how we're going to do things. Okay, so whenever it shows up, we'll be ready. And I... Oh, wait. I think I just remembered. I think I just remembered how to do it a certain way. Apparently, I think you have to get on the slide a certain, or be on a certain position in the slide. Because otherwise, you won't get it. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's like at the further end of the slide, too. Oh, no. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm officially dead. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. Aha. Aha. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I got the hiccups now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. Holy sh... <laughs> oh, man. And I was worried about that green star, too. Holy crap. That was amazing. That was actually kind of cool. Oh, God. And... Oh, God. And because of the fact that... I have the hiccups now. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're just going to do one more green star and then we're done. Ah. Ah. These ones are easy. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. This is like the first time. It's like the first time I've ever gotten hiccups on film. Holy shit. Well, at least these ones are pretty easy because they're both in the same mission. I do see one of them up there. So that's at the very least good. Well, both of them are in plain sight. So that's good. And you know what? You know what? We're gonna do we're gonna do beat block galaxy. We're gonna do like all of them. It might be eleven green stars, but I don't care. This is my LP. <laughs> it's my LP and I'll do what I want in it. Oh god, it's way over there. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Yes! <laughs> I like how... I like how my gits was interrupted by a hiccup. Holy crap. Oh, man. That was good. That was a good triple jump. That was a good time. Alright, so since, since, since these don't really take long at all... Yeah, we're gonna do, like, one more green star and then we're good. We're good for B-Block. Why not? Might as well. All right. All right, hey. Green Star 2, baby. Green Star 2. Besides, this video won't even take too long. Even with me getting, you know, the, uh, even with me getting 11 green stars in one video. So, at least that's good. And again, making the decent progress. 
Making the good sh making the good stuff, you know? Well, as long as I don't die, that would be wonderful. But, you know, there's always a case of me dying. That fact is always inevitable. Inevitable in all of us. We all die. <laughs> Basically, that's the point. We all die. Okay. As long as no other hiccups happen, like in the Haunty Hall's case, we're good. And we are good! Again, the stars in general are pretty forgiving about where exactly in their radius where the game would register you to pick them up. But then again, in one case, uh, Supermassive Galaxy, cough, cough, it was really weird. It was so weird. And I think I hear something from outside. That could be just a TV, but... Eh. It's weird. It was a weird thing. Alright, so, with that, 11 green stars. Holy crap, that's a lot. And I think we're gonna be good for now. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2. We are most likely going to wrap up progress in world three of course and we're gonna you know get you know more green stars obviously because i didn't say we'll see you in part 37 because that's a thing that i do odd see you guys on the next time thank you for watching and goodbye